Hey, hey, what's up everybody? Death Chill here, and today I will be giving you five tips to help you build your team into a pack of bloodthirsty winners. The great thing about Pit People is that there are so many different variations when it comes to building your party, and that is a big part of the enjoyment that I get out of this game. Going around and collecting all these different characters and seeing what they bring to the table is a ton of fun, but there is nothing worse than thinking you have that perfect team and then you run into that enemy combination that completely shuts down your proudly made heroes and makes you feel like trash on the inside. You know which one I'm talking about. Well hopefully by giving you some tips that I have picked up through my travels in the game, I can help you avoid this feeling. So let's kick things off with tip number one, have a versatile team. Try having someone in your party that has a specific role just for safe measures. Like having someone that can deal splash damage to the 33 zombies headed your way will help you take them all down at the same time and increase your chances of not getting overrun by those undead mother Another example would be to have a mace wielder to counter heavy armor characters and a tank to take a lot of the damage away from your squishies. Basically just be prepared for as many different scenarios as you can think of. On to tip number two, use stuns, freezes, or some other kind of CC. On my current team, I have an archer that uses a freezing bow and this can help out tremendously in fights. Being able to freeze an enemy for one turn can make it so you can take less damage and are able to focus on more important targets. It can also be helpful for when you need to get a low health ally out of a sticky situation. Freeze or stun and get the extra time and moves you need to get to the chopper. Alright, tip number three, have someone that can flank. Flankers are those that have good movement and deal a decent amount of damage. Their main goal is to get to the enemy's backline and destroy their ranged users. I like to use kobolds because they have a ton of move spaces and deal extra damage to archers. I will occasionally send my hair troll with them if there are a lot of ranged or a rainbow horse dumping on my, well, you know, everything. Moving things right along, tip number four, which is also the longest tip, you don't need a cupcake. So go put it down, you fatty. No, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You have as many as you want. Having a healer is nice and may work for your team comp, but there are other characters out there such as the Hair Troll, Troll Mom, Vampirus, and Zombies that all have a certain healing aspect to them. Hair Trolls and Troll Mom can regenerate health each round. The Vampirus, or however it is pronounced, the little hairless cat looking things, leech health off of enemies, and the zombies don't necessarily heal, but when they die, as long as nobody steps on the grave, they will spawn again in a few turns with a portion of their health back. These can all be good substitutes for not having a traditional cupcake healer. Another thing to go along with this is the level up system, which for those who don't know, gaining enough XP in combat levels up your character and completely restores their health, which I can't tell you how many times I've won losing fights with the help of this mechanic. So thanks. Thanks a lot. Now my fifth and final tip, don't be afraid to experiment and have fun. I haven't tried every single different variation and I'm sure there might be better ones than what I'm using, so having the best team and never losing, while yes it can be rewarding, makes it so you might miss out on some really fun and crazy team combinations. So go find them and try them out. If you want to have 6 zombies or 6 kobolds, which in turn would give you 12 people to move around the map, then well you go ahead and do it girlfriend, I'm not gonna stop you. Well that's about it for this one, I hope you guys got some kind of value out of this video, even if it was just wow this guy's voice is really sexy and I wish he would read me a bedtime story to sleep. Nah, but seriously, thank you guys a ton for watching my video and let me know some of your tips or favorite team comps that you guys have come across and have a good one. Peace out, y'all.